Hey guys, Lofty here with a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add Flutter to a native Android application. Um, so I have a simple, super simple Android app here written in Kotlin. Um, and it's just two little screens, uh, main activity, and then just a uh, second activity here. Um, and what we're going to do is just add a splash screen here um, that navigates to the second screen after a little while. And um, pretty simple app, but it's just designed to show you how you can add um, a screen written completely in Flutter uh, or Dart uh, directly to a native Android app, so you can extend Android apps. So I'm just going to show a splash screen, but you can extend this to um, your own activities. Um, so to start off, I have just the starter project here, which I just showed you. It's on the GitHub, so you can just clone or download it. Um, and I already have it set up here. Um, the important thing to know is in your workspace, you want to create a parent folder to your project. So here's the project that I just downloaded, or you could clone it. Um, that is this app. You want in your workspace, a parent folder to that app, because you're going to have your native Android app here, and then you're going to make your flutter, flutter module at the same level. So you'll have these two inside of the parent uh, directory, and this will make it just e much easier to reference between the two and work in then rather if you just had separate projects in your workspace. So I uh, recommend doing this and um, that's how I'm going to go proceed in this video. Um, so yeah, download this project or clone this project. Um, set your uh, set your project up like this, uh, how I just showed you. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to open the project in Android Studio, how you would any native Android um, project, just file, open it, or um, you could get clone it and open it through that way. Uh, but all we have here, real simple, uh, just the main activity with just the button, a listener, and it opens a new intent to the second Hello World activity, where that just says, um, Hello from Kotlin. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to add our Flutter module. Uh, so this is real easy to do. You're just going to go to your terminal, Android Studio, and you're going to be at the project level, so um, the native project level. So you actually want to go up to that parent folder. So where we're at right now is we're here in the terminal. I'm going to go back up to here. So we're just going to CD up, CD dot dot to do that. And then now we can actually run the command to create our Flutter module. So a prerequisite to this is you need to have Flutter, Flutter installed and set up in your Android Studio. Um, I can link a video in the description, but there's uh, lots online to do. It's pretty simple to do. So you're just going to do Flutter create dash T module, since this is a Flutter module. And then you're just going to put your name in the module. So I'll put this um, Flutter splash screen module there, just like that. And so that'll be your module name. So run that, uh, it'll run a bit. It's gonna create some, uh, it's gonna create the module for you and some files and such. And um, here you can see it created it right in that directory as you wanted it. So if we go in there and if you look at the file structure, if you're familiar with Flutter, you'll notice it looks just like a Flutter project. You got your lib, uh, uh, the Android and iOS are a bit different, but you do have those in there. Um, and then you got your pubspec.yaml, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, uh, your tests, et cetera. So pretty similar if you're familiar with Flutter. So, um, now the next thing we need to do is just configure a few more things in our, uh, native Android project. Um, so the first thing we want to do is go to our, uh, app level build.gradle and inside of Android here, um, you need to have the compile options set to, uh, Java 8. So you just want to have those compile options, source and target to 1.8. So that's required. Um, if you're using an existing Android product of yours, you might already have that, have that in there. But if not, you just want to make sure you add it in. Um, the next thing to do is you have to open the settings.gradle file over here. Um, and we need to add a few things here. I'm just going to copy them in. Uh, but you want to put this under include app. And you're just going to do set binding, new binding, and inside of that, gradle this. And then evaluate new file settings, blah, 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 blah. Um, the one important thing is whatever you named your module. Uh, and if you forgot it, you can go over here. And I'm just actually going to rename, not rename it, but copy it um, and put it in here so I don't mess it up. But you just want to make sure that is the actual name of your uh, project. So you're going to sync it and it's going to create some files for you. And uh, I think some actual code down here. Yep, right there. Um, so you just want to, that's all good. Uh, don't mess with that. And uh, after you do that, oh, make sure you sync it as well. Uh, and then the last thing we would need to do for the setup 
is uh, go into our back into our app build .gradle, um, and go to our dependencies. And inside of here, we just need to uh, add the, pro the Flutter project to uh, as a dependency. So once you sync that again, uh, then we're pretty much ready to go, ready to jump into editing the Kotlin to uh, open up our um, Flutter activity. That's what we're going to do. Um, so basically, to launch a Flutter activity, um, I'm actually going to delete this button because we don't actually need it. What we're going to do is we're going to launch a Flutter activity that's going to run our main.dart file as uh, any Flutter project would start with. Uh, and then that's going to execute any Flutter code um, we have in there. And then we're actually going to have Java in here with a uh, handler and a post delayed. So after five seconds, it uh, will finish that activity and start a new activity simulating a uh, splash screen. Uh, so to start a Flutter activity, you would actually just do start activity. And then inside of that, you do Flutter activity and then uh, create uh, default intent, and then just this for this activity. Okay, so I'm back. So it'll jump there. I actually imported a wrong intent with Flutter activity. That's why I can get um, access to what I wanted. So um, we're going to go here, start over, start activity, and do Flutter activity. And you actually want the IO Flutter and embedding Android, not the IO Flutter app. I used the wrong one. So do that, and then you get access to this. Uh, create default intent method, pass in this, um, and that's what's actually going to launch it. And then because you um, did all the following commands linking your module to this project, it'll actually automatically just run your main dot, uh, dart from that. So you don't really have to do anything special besides that. Um, and then what we're actually going to do to simulate a um, splash screen is we're going to do a handler, make a new handler uh, dot post delayed. Um, and then with that, I'm going to get an intent, uh, have it be a new intent. And then we do this at main activity, because that's what we are, we're in. And then what we do want to open is the other one, which is hello world, hello world activity. And that's just going to be a class.java, just like that. Um, then we want to start the activity, standard stuff here. Um, and then we just want to actually finish the activity we're currently in, which is going to be, uh, sort of this activity holding the flare activity almost if you can think about it like that. Uh, and then we just want to say a time, uh, I'm just going to do 5,000 milliseconds to five seconds. It'll, um, end up starting a new activity and finishing this one. So we'll see the flood, uh, flutter splash screen for five seconds, and then we'll navigate over to here. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, there is uh, one last thing is we need to make sure we add that activity to our manifest. So just like you do any any time you add an activity, you need to make sure we add our, our Flutter activity. Um, so I'm actually going to paste this in here, and then I'll show you it. Um, so right under your, uh, your other activities, um, under this one actually, we'll put it, uh, just a normal activity block. You're going to have the name. It's going to be that package of the Flutter activity that you imported here. So you could copy that over here. That's the name. Uh, there's a whole bunch of config changes. Um, you can look into what all these are for yourself. But um, for the basic thing we're doing, I would just put those in there. It'll, it'll work nicely. Um, make hardware accelerator true. And Windows soft input mode um, adjust resize. Um, and you can look all these up to play with them as it fits your needs. Uh, but we'll just leave those in there like that for now. Um, and so that's it. That's all the changes we actually need to make on the uh, native Android side. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to open the Flutter module in a completely new project. So we'll just leave this here. We're going to open. And then uh, it brings us actually right where we want to be. So the Flutter splash screen module, we're going to open that. Um, and sometimes it gives you some some greater warnings. You can just hit OK. So don't worry about this. It'll always pop up. Uh, we'll clean this up. Get this over here. Um, and yeah, as I mentioned, when you open this, you'll see it looks just like a normal uh, Flutter application. Um, 
So one note is I'm actually using um, the spin kit package, Flutter spin kit for this tutorial. Just uh, it's an easy way to make a splash screen uh, with nice green much is what I'm doing. So uh, if you want to use it, go over to um, pub.dev for Flutter. Uh, just look up Flutter spin kit and then uh, you can find the dependency here. So um, I'll go ahead and grab that. Go over to our pubspec.yaml. Uh, go down to our dependencies. I'll put it here. Packages.get. And then that finished. So great. Um, so now what we want to do is we actually want to create the splash screen. So um, we're going to delete. We're going to delete all this. Um, and there's a few things you want to do. Um, the imports you're going to need is Dart UI, uh, the material, and the Flutter spin kit. Um, I'm actually going to copy over to uh, make this quick since this really isn't a Flutter tutorial. It's just about adding it to a native app. I'm going to copy in the code. And you can find this from the uh, the GitHub page I linked. Um, I'll, uh, not this one, actually. I'll link it in the description for the actual final project. Um, or you can look here. I'll walk through it real quick if you want to copy it down. So it's just, uh, you're returning a widget, choose widget, um, and you just have, there's only one for right now. You could add more than this if you wanted this. Um, then we have our Flutter view, and it's going to hold this splash screen stateless widget. And in the stateless widget is where we're going to uh, open the spin kit. So real simple stuff here. Um, it's pretty much just having a view with the spin kit in it, because that's all you want for a splash screen right now. But you could add onto this whatever you wanted. Or you could make a full-blown um, app in here to show on a screen and not uh, time it out. Uh, the only last thing is uh, to actually run this, what we want to do is for, we're going to keep run app, but we want to make it choose widget. And then you want to put a route in here. So we're going to put window, just like that, dot default route name. So, which is uh, what we defined down here. So. That's good, just like that. Um, that's actually that's the only uh, Flutter stuff we actually really needed. And then we're actually done from that. So basically what we need to do um, is go back to our native app. Uh, we need to sync our Gradle real quick uh, because we opened the Flutter module and it affected this a little bit. Uh, and then we're actually ready just to uh, completely run it. So app loads. See our splash screen. Here we go. That's the spin kit, and it opens this activity. So basically, what it does is this opens up, opens a Flutter activity. Um, you see the spin kit, and then after five seconds, it finishes that activity and starts our new activity, which is this one. Uh, so real simple. Uh, I want to keep it simple to show you how you can do it, but you can spam this to add full fledged Flutter screens. Um, I show you how you could add a Flutter package as well to it. But um, you can add this to take an existing Android app and add full-fledged uh, Flutter functionality with your own Flutter screens right to it. So um, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.